Hey guys, how's it going? It's Arit here. Welcome to another Biz Tips Tuesdays video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to manage multiple projects using a tool called Trello. Now Trello is a tool that you can either use for free or you can purchase some of their premium features. We use the completely free version and it works very well for us. We manage multiple projects. We have always have multiple things on the go. For example, we have the Esatino YouTube channel, this channel. We have that as a project. We have my music as a, as a project. We have um, the print on demand stuff. What some of you might have seen like the Etsy, the merch by Amazon, all that kind of stuff. That is one project. So. What I really like about Trello is that it simplifies things. We've used multiple different tools and I like Trello because it's simple to use and it simplifies the way that you can organize your tasks. And th the complications are all in my head, right? Having all of these tasks and thinking about all these projects, that's already complicated in itself. So I want something that's going to really simplify this for me and it's easy to use. So let's jump right in. I'm going to show you this board that we have right in front here is called the weekly to do's board. Now in Trello, you create, you can create multiple boards and within a board, you can create multiple lists. So as you see here going across Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, each of those gray cards are lists. So you create the lists within the boards and then you create cards within those lists. So as you see here within the Thursday list, we have the card to go to our personal training session. Uh, we have the card to upload designs to Redbubble. Uh, we have a card to do an Etsy shop update. So each of these ones are kind of like tasks uh, to do. And I'll show you how to create that. I just wanted to get that terminology cleared up because I will be using that throughout this video. So this is the main board that we function out of. We look at this on a daily basis and you're probably thinking, okay, well, how do you start putting all these cards in and how do you know what goes where and how do you just manage all of this so that it's simple? What we did is we started off by creating a board for each project. So I'm gonna go over to the boards area here. So there's also, there's this um, kind of quick glance view where you can see all of the boards you created, but also if you go to your home, um, let's go back here. So I clicked on the little home icon. You can see all of your boards here at a glance as well. And you can choose different images to customize each board, which is kind of fun. Um, so we have one board per project. So like I said, we have YouTube channel board, we have eBay, print on demand, Udemy, my music. And we basically wanted to kind of hash out all of the tasks that were floating around in our head. So we looked at each project and basically created a brainstorm to-do list within each of those projects. So to give you an example, let's go into the Esatino YouTube board. So within this board, we just created one list and without trying to think about due dates or assigning them to when you're gonna get it done or anything like that, we created one list and just listed all of those tasks as a card. So to add a list is really simple once you create a board and you can create a board by going, once you've signed up for an account, in the top right hand corner, you'll see a plus sign and you just click on create a board there and you can name that board. And so once you've created your board, you can easily create lists like this. Um, so that's, you add the list. So you can go, you can add as many lists as you want going across. And then when you wanna add a card within those lists, and like I said, we, we add a task, uh, we add one card per task. So this is a test task, right? I'm just gonna show you how to add it. So you click on add card and then that adds it right away. Um, to delete a list or to delete a card is really simple. You just click on the icon there and then you can click on archive and it 
sets it away for you, it deletes it. It kind of hides it in a different place that you can get it back if you want to. You can view your archived materials, um, but just consider it as the same thing as deleting it. So I'm going to archive this entire list because we don't need to see that. And as you can see here, Within this project of YouTube, we have filming videos, we have responding to comments, SEO research, editing videos, and we can assign each of those tasks to either myself or Jewel. So we're a two person team uh, for this particular project, at least. So we went ahead and created a board per project, and I'll go into a Reap Music to show you another one. Again, I just have one list called To Do and named and uh, listed out all of those tasks. And then once we were done that, we went into each of those project boards and then assigned them to the weekly board. And the way to do that is you just basically go to, you look at each task. It's a lot of work at first, especially if you have a ton of tasks. Um, so it does take time, but the more you do it, the easier it gets to to schedule your tasks and go on a week to week basis. The first time it did take like this was a good two hours or, or two and a half hours of creating the boards, adding the tasks. But it was a time investment that was worth it because it's like we're just kind of dumping everything that was in our head and now it's easier to manage. So once you go through each of those tasks, you know, you can click on the side here and you can say, okay, I want to do this. I want to prep for my song on Saturday. So you're going to go over to, you can click on um, move card and then you would ask to move it to the weekly to do board and to move it to the Saturday list. And then when you hit move, it will show up on the Saturday list of the weekly to do board. I'm not going to do that here because it might mess up what we have on there, but that's basically what we did is we created a board for each project, laid out all of the tasks as cards, and then went to each card and moved it or copied it. You can also copy it if you don't want to outright move the card. The, moving the card will completely get rid of it from this list. But if you just want to copy it to that board, then you can also click on copy and it'll ask you the same thing. So which board do you want to move it to and which list? So you can do that. Um, so once we've gone to our, we've assigned all of the tasks to our weekly to do's, it will look something like this. So on each of these boards, you'll see tasks. We even created one that says unscheduled, but due this week. So that was kind of like personal tasks that we, we know we have to do this week, but we're not sure where it's going to fit in. It's kind of like whenever we have a moment to spare, that's not a priority. So we can add those cards in here and you can add them directly in here as well. You don't have to always copy a card from a previous board to another board. So we have that list. And then at the very end here, we have a list called nailed it. And nailed it is like our done list. So whenever we are, whenever we've completed a task, we just go ahead and click and drag, which is really fun. So that's super easy to do. Um, and it's easy, it's, it's also good to see like from a visual perspective as well, because you know, if it's Saturday and you're, you're coming in here, you're working out of this, and you've moved this task over, you've moved another task, you can start start to slowly see that the day has is clearing up. And at the end of the week, when you come to review the tasks and set the cards back like they're supposed to be, so putting new tasks in or moving certain tasks back to those days that you're supposed to get them done, um, you'll be able to easily see at a glance how much you've gotten done, which is really cool. You can see everything that we've gotten done here and nailed it. We also have another list that says not completed, but scheduled for next week. And that is when we do our weekly planning on Sundays and there are tasks that we haven't completed. We'll take those out of those days, put them in here. And then so when we go to plan again, our tasks for the week, we can look at those cards and reset them back to whenever we're supposed to get them done. So 
It's really simple to create a board like this. This is what I recommend starting off with is creating a weekly to do board and then separate boards for each of your projects because this way you can easily see what you have going from an overall point of view an overall standpoint within each project. But at the same time, you have a weekly board where you know what you're doing every single day. So you may have noticed that there's also different colors here. Everything that is purple is a weekly task. So meaning we do that task every single week. So it's basically a reoccurring task. Everything that's blue is kind of health related fitness. Uh, everything that's red is a daily task. So you can decide how you wanna color code your tasks, but if you wanna see something like that at a glance, you can do so. You just go to that task. Again, the little quick view icon, pencil icon in the top right corner of the card. And then you can click on edit labels. And then you can click on whatever color you want to, to add that in there and then just hit save. By the way, that is like a quick glance of if you wanna edit the colors, change the members that the task is assigned to, um, or anything like that. If you wanted to add more details within that card, you just need to click on it, and then you can see an activity list of where, you know, how this card has been managed, what list has been moved to, um, that sort of thing. You can also add a description here if you want to add yourself more notes about that task. So um, sometimes we'll use that as well. We can also add a checklist. Um, so I'll click out of here so you can see the checklist. Today is Tuesday. I'm filming four videos right on schedule. Uh, this task right here, you'll notice there's a little checklist item. So when you go to click into that, you'll see I created a checklist of the different videos that I'm supposed to film. So every week I film a Tuesday, a Monday, and two Thursdays. Um, basically that's, that's um, according to our publishing schedule. We have a publishing schedule. And Jewel films two Mondays, and two Wednesdays and sometimes a Friday, Saturday video as well. So she has a different checklist. So when I'm done filming this video, I will come in here and I'll check this off and I will be 25% done of the way for this task. So there's a lot of, you know, detail that you can do to use Trello for project management, but there's also a lot of simplicity to it and it really depends what works best for you and how you wanna use it. So if you wanna get started with Trello, sign up for an account. Like I said, it's totally free to use um, unless you want to use their premium features. You can also, by the way, set reminders for each of these tasks. You can click into uh, the little shortcut icon and click on due date and you can set those reminders for you and it'll pop up on your screen. You can also use it on your phone, which is something that I love because, you know, we're always on the go managing things from different offices, different places. So we have everything on the phone, which is great. This is the app and you'll see here I can access the weekly to do's board from my mobile app and you can even see see it at a glance and kind of scroll outwards like this too i'm not sure if you guys can see it but um you can you can get the app you can download the app and easily move tasks over to nail it directly from your phone if you don't want to use the online tool as well so guys, that is how we use Trello to manage multiple projects at once. Let me know if you have any questions by leaving it down in the comments below this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more good stuff coming your way. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Back, back, back from the dead.